We back. We need to we back now. Okay. We good? We good. All right. Let's get let's get to it. Y'all probably tired of this music. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We're going to number one over here. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oof. I forgot I was going to turn the volume down a bit for you guys. Now that I'm back, I'll turn it down. Okay. So, uh... I don't know if y'all are reading any of that. I know I wasn't. We're going to investigate this ectoplasm here for Traitorous Wrath. Alright, so now we got to follow the trail of ectoplasm that appears to appear. That looks like oil over there. Let's go get some of that oil. This is a lot of oil. It's a heart shape, almost. Yeah, this is a ton. This is probably where I'm going to get a ton of this oil in these swamps. That makes sense that that would be the case, too. I was thinking about it. It's because dinosaurs. Because alligators. Oh, and I could make a camp. That's a good idea. Give me... Right there. Okay, that's fine with me. Now, I could set my inn here. Maybe I could do that. Later. Yeah, no, yeah, later. I'll do it later. As long as my camp's there, I'll respawn here at this camp next to this town. And then I'll make it an inn later if I need to. Or make it to the end. To the inn. Here's some oil. Looks like we got some some ancients over here. That's the bony guys. I did drop my oils. I had a couple oils that were like buffs to fight those guys, but I got tired of carrying them and not using them because I can never pr predict whenever I'm going to get on one of these missions that sends me off to fight them. So I would never apply them to my weapon. They're supposed to like, they're like weapon oils that are supposed to buff your damage against these guys. See if I can get this before he sees me. Please don't see me. He didn't see me. This is going to be great for leveling mining though. Getting all this oil out here. There's an alligator. He's uh, necessary. I'm going to have to kill him. This ain't an elite alligator like the previous ones. I like to just stay up on his shoulder. Where his mouth can't really reach me. He'll get a little nibble in, but he don't really hurt me otherwise. Okay. Polder gator, that's what they're called. That's supposed to be a gator, but it looks like a crocodile. Gators have the pointy noses. Source uh, lived in Florida. That's the source. And they're all about them gators over there. I'll tell you what. They about them gators. Tell you what. Fine and thin. Here's some more oil. Following the ectoplasm trail. I imagine this is going to lead to one of them banshee ghost things that are going to want to attack me. Please don't come after me. So now you can kind of hear the music with the newfound respect. There's the ectoplasm. Matter of the traitor? Or Matheson the traitor? I feel like that's where I'm going. Let's eat some food. And drink some potions. Here we go. La Escamilla. I don't know what that means. Let's see if this is any clue. Sea shanty found in La Escamilla. Oh, come ye lads and lasses with eyes all bonny bright to hear a tale that give every sailor living sailor fright. 
There is an island eternal surrounded by storm, and just once will we warn to stay away if you value your life. Aeternum, Aeternum, land of the living dead, Aeternum, Aeternum, just ship me home instead. It's a sea chant shanty, so it's like something that they like sing while they drink or whatever. So it's supposed to be kind of a good one, right? It's supposed to, but it's like a foreboding tale. Oh, come ye lads and lasses. Uh, I don't even know how you would sing it. It's morphin' time. Hold on. Oh. Oh, yeah, I could put some work on this guy. I've been working on the railroad, bitch. All right, desecrated cloth boots. Give me strength boots, please. Uh, strength intelligence, reinforced harvesting luck, more harvesting luck, mining luck, harvesting luck. We're uh, we're getting pretty lucky here, guys. I actually do have something that's giving luck as well. Yeah, I'm getting coarse leather satchel luck, and I think my weapon or something's giving luck also. I got luck. Oh, here in my gloves, I got harvesting luck. Gloves and boots. If I want gloves and boots, but th they're trying to get me to go intelligence. Ah, I don't know. I like the strength though. I'm not going to get rid of the strength of the shoes I'm wearing. I try to see if I can sell that stuff. I think uh, we'll probably check and see if that'll sell. What is this? Holder bear. You can't even see this seeping stone, but it's here. Is this another one up here? Oh, I am. I'm tracking them. So the seeping stone looks like a water drop on my compass up there. In La Escamilla. All right, let's find out where we're headed next. Let's go down to Fishy Illness. All right. Yeah, and then we'll veer off east after that. That's that's not gonna. I'm not gonna be able to survive that. We gotta run around. A little bit of lag there. Um, we would have to head directly west, then south. West. It looked like we can make it, but mm, that's kind of. It's kind of deep. Can we head directly west? Just can't let our head go underwater. Yeah, I think we got this. Let's kind of stay on the rocks if we can. Yeah, yeah, we got this. Man, I would not be wanting to wear this heavy armor in the water like that. This shit's going to get all rusty. And it's probably going to weigh three times as much when it gets out of the water. Because you know how much iron and <laughs> metal absorb water. <laughs> but his clothes are going to be drenched underneath. He's probably going to have rubbing and chafing and shit. I used to do shit like this, man. I know how fucked up this guy's going to be later. <laughs> Bumble blossom. I don't know what's so bumbly about this blossom here. Other than it's bulby. If anything, it should be bulby blossom. But maybe it looks like a bumblebee hive. I don't know. Maybe that's what it's a bumblebee hive looking blossom. Did I hit these or is somebody else hitting them? I'll just turn in since I came here anyways. I think I'm also going to look into some weapons because I'm feeling kind of kind of weak. It's kind of weak lately. Has been dope. Anything good? Intelligence focus. 
I'm gonna see about selling this gear too. I'll go with storage. Where's the crow coin? There it is. See the crow holding the coin? That's where you know the trading is happening. All right, let's see. So far, we still have 93 of the 100 posts uh, still up. It's because we posted all this low-level shit. I should get all my moats back because I need to make keys and shit. I was putting flint up. What was I thinking? I put white common quality pants. It's just been up for six days. Eight days. Nobody's buying it, bro. <laughs> Is it too expensive? I don't get why. Because it's in Windsward? Is that why? Yeah, I don't know. All right, let's see. We can equip it. And it's a weapon. And it's a shield? Do we need a shield as much? Let's try one-handed sword. I don't... I don't know if I, I really, like... I'm super into this one-handed sword gameplay though. I feel like I was doing much better with my one my two-handed mace and uh spear. I might get back to doing that. I ain't really mess with the great axes a whole lot. Maybe I can go more great axe. Because great axe is supposed to be kind of tanky. And I'm already wearing heavy armor. 12 strength. I usually go sort sort by gear score. I can equip it. And then I, I just kind of go down the list and look for strength. There we go. That's good enough for me. It's a tier 3 axe with nothing but strength on it. It's got 17 strength. I mean, you can kind of keep looking for the perfect mix of stats and like little special modifiers like Vicious here. Or Mortal Life Steal. But uh... I just look for the stat. I don't really care about all that other stuff. And then for our mace, let's look at another mace, maybe. This is only a hundred. Oh yeah, this is exactly what we need. It's got an empty slot. I don't mind if I do. Okay. So now we're going to unlock that. And we're going to lock this one. And then Beast Bane, 17 strength, 372, 325. This is the one. Lock that one. And for now on, we're going to do this with out those. I'll still hold on to the sword and shield because we never know. But I need to get a better sword and shield. That shit's whack. Yep. All right. So we got those two now. Um, gonna trash it. And this axe as well. I mean, we just saw the axe that we bought sell for nothing, so I'm just gonna trash that as well. And then I'll see if these blues will sell. What do we got here? I think it'll show me whenever I try to sell it. Alright, here's the mask. There are no existing ones. What about these boots? No existing. So we got desecrated and defiled. Desecrated is strength and intelligence. Defiled is constitution and intelligence. Mining luck and harvesting luck. This is a backstab. The problem is this is giving a dexterity kind of bonus. But it has constitution and focus. So I don't think this is going to be worth anything. And then these two are going to be worth something. Because this is both harvesting, which is an intelligence-based profession, and it's light, and it has intelligence. The only thing that's weird is strength, but you could also benefit from a few weapons that, that have strength and intelligence. Like, I think the spear, for example, strength and intelligence. Uh, constitution and intelligence is way better, especially if you're mining. Mining is more of a strength thing, though. It'd be better if the strength was on here. And if the constitution was switched with both of them. That would be so much better. I'm gonna i I'm just gonna see if I could sell them for something. 
I'm gonna hope that people buy the the little stat, and I'm gonna call that stat worth 400 gold. I don't know. And then this too, I'm gonna say that's worth 400 gold. And maybe since there's multiple, it'll help kind of like make it seem that way. Yeah, these are 80. This is gonna be less so. What's the low end for these? I'm gonna make this one worth 50 because I know it's not it's not a savage. It's got like crap on it. Let's even make it worth 30. Because I know them stats aren't ideal. And then we'll pin everything we're going to head out and go do. And then we'll make sure we dump inventory before we go out to do it. Um, This one's closer. And then I'll bind at the end as well. Or at the, I keep calling it the end. The end. I'm going to bind it. The, bind it at the end. This is an oil supply cart. Holy shit. We just got loaded up with some oil. This zone is where it happens, I guess. Oh, uh, here's the inn. The inn. Here's the inn. Can y'all hear me? Okay, good. Just making sure. It takes a certain kind to travel through the fen. Oh, it seems like you're already checked. Okay, good. Good. Just checking to see if you knew. Just to test, and you passed. You knew all along. I should just switch out all my gear for string gear. <laughs> I think we're okay with what we got. I do need a gem though. I had a gem on me earlier. I dropped it in a different place though. Okay. Okay, so I got to get a gem for a weapon. So a good weapon gem and uh, <clears throat> I'd like to get a chill chill. I'm spending all the money. Don't spend all the money. <laughs> I always got to remind myself to not just like spend all the money I get. What I try to do is like every 10 levels, I'll refresh my gear and it's so good. It feels so nice whenever I do. So I come out hitting like a freight train. All right. So how did I get to gyms? This is why I didn't want to look for gyms. Um, not raw resources. These are refined, refined stone. No cut gemstones. There it is. Here we go. None. None. Okay. Well, shit. That's just here. So there are none here at this specific market. Unfortunately, I could put a request like a buy order request. Can I get the raw stone? That's cut refined stone. The raw raw gym. Raw resources. Ores. Maybe just the raw gemstones. None. Okay. Well, shit. No gems then. They're back at the other camp. I don't want to go to the other camp though. So we'll just continue. I'm going to do the story. So let's go there. I hope we're not too... Uh, too weak. <laughs> I feel like we're going to be super weak. I mean, we're obviously going to be super strong, but like we're going to be super unconstitutional. <laughs> we're not going to have very much constitution to take very many hits. And these ghosts, I feel like I think it's void or arcane. One of those two do the most damage to these types of ghosts. Oh my god, here comes one of them things. Fishy illness. We're looking for Gilgut the Lost. Gilgut Lost. We gotta defeat 12 Gilgut Lost. I'm gonna hopefully run so far this way that most of that shit that's been following me turns around. And then I'll fight the one or two that remain. I don't want to go too close to all that shit. All that banshee ectoplasm stuff. Oh. 
That's what I wanted to do, I forget. Okay, that's all right. We just block more, we don't dodge more. There you go. And we're doing the ax, I gotta remember to do the ax. All right, who want it? Who want it? There you are. So I got a, just a regular swing and a whirlwind, it looks like, for this act so far. I tried holding down and attacking, doing a heavy attack. Nothing. I tried just doing a combo of attacks. Nothing. So I think the only point I have is Whirlwind. I know one of the points is like, I could sit there and continuously swing and get a damage multiplier up to three times. But I don't have that spec apparently. Apparently all I have is the Whirlwind. The Whirlwind kind of sucks things in towards me too. So I think the two-handed, the Great Axe, I think it's meant to be like a tanking weapon almost. Or it can be set up to be one, it seems. Like I'm getting kind of Death Knight vibes, maybe. Attention everyone, purple terps are going to war at 8.39 p.m. tonight. Restless Creek, go sign up. Are we having problems with people not signing up? Oh! If it's 8.30, 9pm, I don't know what time that is my time, but if that's like three hours later than that, that's probably why. But I specifically picked NA West for that reason, so it should actually be earlier than that for me. Like 6pm or something. Alright, we need four more of those guys killed. Yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably want to do that. Let's see what this looks like. We got a bow. It has a dexterity, intelligence, an empty socket, and it gives siege damage. It's called Ruinous. It's got a Ruinous modifier on it. Plus 30% siege damage. Damn, son. And then the musket of the assassin is dex intelligence with vicious, which is a critical hit chance. I like having a musket because uh, sometimes when you're hunting something for a quest, it's nice to be able to just reach out and touch someone. Give me that. It doesn't let me. Oh, damn. It said that I can camp, right? There you go. We need to get some more wood. Looks like we made a friend. Ah! Ah, you want to spin? I can spin too, buddy. That was terrifying though. He pulled out his shovel and just started helicoptering towards me. A life staff of the sage here. Focus, empty socket, generate more threat. Maybe if you're a paladin. Yeah, I haven't figured out how to do the stats split yet. I'm currently just doing the, uh... Alright, get away from this dude. I was trying to get away before he did that. Yeah, I know, like, you don't want to split your stats too much, so if you are going to split them, it's best to keep it down to, like, you know, one main stat and then a secondary stat, like, kind of like that. It's better if they complement each other, though. Like, for example, the musket is intelligence and dexterity. So if your gear is all intelligence and dexterity, then your musket can benefit from that. Get away! This axe is kind of slow. It's like one swing, another swing, 
one swing another swing it's like one swing slower swing one swing slower swing that's kind of not great maybe it's like one swing run away run away run away one swing run away run no there, there's just such a cooldown after he swings oh no it's the explodey one oh I gotta already start running and not get hit while I'm trying to run <laughs> in order to get away. Cause I'm wearing this gear, it's this fucking heavy gear, man. I need to switch back to the light gear, but I'm such a one shot whenever I have light gear on. So I've been going strength and kind of constitution with my gear. So that's what I'm doing for my, my split, my stat split. And the constitution's just been so I can take a couple more hits so I can hopefully beast them down before they kill me. Yes! Level 7 Great Axe. Oh, I'm fully specced into this thing. Okay, heavy attacks pull foes close. If I get hit, uh, I gain stamina. Grit to heavy attacks. Okay, so I do have grit. Okay. And then uh, after I cause a pull, my foes held longer. When I block... I gain 5% damage, maximum three stacks. Yeah, I need to do that. I think blocking extends the reach of Maelstorm, consumes projectiles. It does an extra spin. Gravity well throw and axe vortex full center burst damage. Spin attack weapon damage, all foes. I think this, I think blocking. I'm gonna try to lean into this tanking thing. He's got Tusk Gore. He said, let's effin go. What? It's got Empowered. 40% of damage is converted to Arcane, Vicious, Enchanted, Light, and Heavy attacks do more damage. Damn. All right, I got Grit on Heavy Attack, so just Heavy Attack him down. What you do is you block one, block another, two, block, a block another, come on. Three, and then you heavy attack spin, heavy attacks. Yeah, yeah, I could do that. I could, I could refresh it with another block, I bet. So block, one, two, three, heavy attack, heavy attack, block. Ah, oh, he didn't refresh it. One, one, two, heavy attack, spin, spin. It's literally heavy attack, block again. Heavy attack, and then it's like one swing. I get one swing. Okay, heavy attack. Ooh, block. That's one block. He missed the first one. Give me another block. There it is. Back up a little, get some stamina. Block again. Get some more stamina. Heavy attack. Oh, block. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Ah, oh, damn. He's not going to keep attacking consistently and keep me buffed. Here we go. Raw. It's a little slower that way, but I could stay alive a little better if I don't have hit points. Heavy attack. Heavy attack. Heavy attack. No, those are light attacks. I just like saying heavy attack. <laughs> ah, okay. We've done all we needed to do here, so let's move on. After we get this provision crate. Is this a guy here? That's a guy. He said, oh. Tornader. Oh, <laughs> how scary. Heavy attack, spinning. Hang out. Ooh, we got gloves of the spell sword. What is this? Strength intelligence. They want me to get intelligence. A helm with intelligence. Look at this. Oh my God. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and I can't block that shit. I blocked his shit though. 
One, two. That's already three. Huh. Huh. Give me some. Not that. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. That's right. She's like, ha ah. ha ha. When your mom hits you so hard, you're like, ha ah. <laughs> She's like, stop crying. You're like, yeah. Oh shit. It's getting too real. I need food. Now I need drink. And now we tell what we think. There you go. What the fuck? What the fuck? There's a whole gator there. We need this guy too. Come on, friend. Yikes. Ow, oh, you're a biggin', aren't you? You're a biggin'. You got a big body, boy. You got a big old body on you, boy. Let's take you out now, boy. There you go, boy. Jeez, man. He had a big body. You up there chonking up the place. Why are you over there chonking up the place? Uh -huh. huh? Okay. Those would have hurt me if they would have hit. Uh. Oh, deflected. I got such a wide swing. Even though she did dodge, she didn't dodge that wide of an arc. All right, I got turned around. Let's go this way. There wasn't anything in there, right? Yeah, nothing. Just a bunk bed or a little, little hemp bed, little straw bed. I think I go up in there. There's a green glow. I have to know. I have to know what's up. Is glowing green in here? Explain yourself. Ah, uh, it's you. Okay, it's just you. Ah! Oh no, he's gonna explode. Oh, through the wall? Really? Oh, that was so LOS. Ah! How are you still alive, buddy? Wasn't there a massive explosion? Cargo manifest. Two crates of gold ingots, three silver, and six iron. Should be enough to barter with anyone we encounter and to keep our weapons in top repair. Keep a close eye on the grog supply. Matheson's been lingering suspiciously around the cargo, and we all know what he's after. <laughs> so we should have ingots from this? A flat bow of the ranger. Oh, maybe they made it all into this. This is a tier 3, 16 dexterity, bane corrupted. Psh, I might go bow spec here. But it's dex like i'm i have nothing to offer dex like literally i'll just be shooting a wet noodle we're like nothing into dex whereas all this if i just throw a strength ah! if i throw a strength item on then uh i get all the benefit of that strength i oh what is it hegan the blast fisherman explosive i don't need him so I'm gonna get out of here. I <laughs> just went and poked the bear. <laughs> and then I'm gonna move on. It's like, whoops, wrong guy, sorry. I thought this was a different swap. I need to head to a, a swamp more in this direction. Are you guys gonna murder me? Oh, you're gonna murder me! Ugh, I blocked it. Oh my god. Maybe I could just slowly make my way out to the water blocking uh no i don't know if this is gonna work surely they're drowning too who can hold their breath longer the ones without lungs or the ones with with the one i'm getting on land oh my god Oh, shit, I barely survived that. OK, 